Hello, welcome to this channel. If you are new here, make sure you subscribe. And don't forget to comment and share. To we will unfolding the truth behind tyres. So stay tuned, let's get started. In 1839, Charles Goodyear stumbled upon the discovery of vulcanised rubber by complete accident, forever revolutionising the tyre industry. This chance invention set off a chain reaction that eventually led to the creation of air-filled tyres in the early 20th century. Nowadays, tyre factories churn out over 250 million new tyres annually. Before a tyre is mass-produced, engineers meticulously design it using specialised computer software. This software enables them to simulate tread performance and other design parameters, generating a three-dimensional colour image for analysis. The design and testing process through computer simulations prove cost-effective for manufacturers as it helps identify design limitations before the production of a prototype. A modern tyre consists of 10 to 15 components, including natural and synthetic rubbers, chemical additives and carbon black pigment. These materials arrive at factories in rail cars, undergo precise measurements by computer systems and are mixed in a Banbury mixer. The mixing chamber is heated to soften the rubber, making it malleable for blending with other ingredients. The resulting gummy rubber dough is rolled into sheets for further processing. Plier polyester is processed through a calendar machine, reinforcing it with warm rubber on both sides to create a rubber is it fabric used to strengthen the tear. Cotton cords unwinding from bobbins are integrated into the rubberized fabric to provide air channels during tire building. The outermost part, the tread, is crafted from a specially formulated rubber compound with unique patterns for optimal traction and wear characteristic. Extruders shape the rubber streams for the tread, with paint rollers applying coloured stripes for ingredient identification. The tyre building process commences with bead rings, followed by the inner liner, corded ply and beads. Inflated bladders roll rubber around the beads, and sidewalls are added for protection and flexibility, also containing tyre specifications. The outer shell, equipped with belts for strength, resistance and stability, is combined with the tread to form the complete tyre. The assembly undergoes moulding and curing processes, transforming the green tyre into a strong and elastic final product. Quality control involves thorough inspections and testing, including destructive tests on prototypes. Once approved, finished tyres undergo additional processes, such as protective coating and branding. Packaged and prepared for distribution, these tyres contribute to the global tyre market, which reached 3 or 14.7 billion USD in 2022 due to increased demand from developing regions and technological advancements. The tyre industry is poised for further growth as the global population continues to expand. If you enjoyed this content, feel free to explore more videos on similar topics.